Hello everyone, welcome to Excel VBA programming course. This is lesson 7, Relative versus Absolute Reference. I am your trainer Kalzi and you are watching Excel 10 tutorial. Let's get started. In the previous lesson, we learned to use macro recorder and in this lesson, we are going to learn differences between relative and absolute reference. Relative references indicates the journey of recording map and absolute references indicates the destination of recording map. Let's get started and I'm going to demonstrate both of them so you can understand what is relative and absolute references in macro recording. So we are in cell A1 and we are going to record a macro and by default macro recorder uses absolute references. So we do not need to specify absolute references while recording this macro we just click on record macro and we are going to name our macro which is absolute move right you can understand the name i have written is in camel case formatting which i have explained in the previous lesson and if i click ok the macro will start recording in the name i have written absolute move right because i am going to move one cell right and then enter a value and then stop recording that's what i'm going to do in both relative and absolute references now i am in cell a1 and i'm going to move to cell b2 and i'm going to use my keyboard to go to the cell b2 and i'm going to enter a value which will be hello and i'm going to press ctrl plus enter so that I can enter the value and also stay in that same cell. Now I'm going to stop recording. Okay, so what we have done here, we record a macro using absolute references and the task we have done here is just move one cell right and then enter a value. And let's clear the cell and go back to cell A1. Now we are going to record another macro using relative references. As you know, the default is absolute references. So if you want to record a macro using relative references, you are going to have to click this button also if I click here you can see the gray background and that indicates that this option is selected and now if I click on record macro it's going to use relative references let's do that record macro and now the name should be relative move right click ok the macro is, has started recording and we are going to do the same thing again which is move one cell right and enter a value control plus enter and stop recording so we have record two macro using two different models and in the first one we used absolute references in the second one we have used relative references let's go to the visual basic and see how macro interpreted our moves using two different ways go to visual basic and in the modules click here module one and now you can see this one is absolute move right the first macro we have written and the second one is relative move right the second macro that we recorded okay and you should already know these are the comments and let me just delete them you can also delete them take a look at here in the first macro absolute move right here range b1 is absolute that means no matter what happens it is going to interpret b1 as its base value okay whatever you do the result will be in b1 it's 100 percent solid range b1 select it's going to do this every time you do something okay and then selection formula r1 c1 equal to hello this is the value and you can see this one and this one are same in both references only difference is that in absolute references there is a range b1 that is always selected but in the relative references you can see is the process how you go to the second cell active offset 0 1 range a1 select now here range a1 is a bit confusing for you right now and it's not necessary this is something that macro recorder always do it always adds some unnecessary coding to your macro you can just delete it everything will be the same it will give you the same result as before just that extra code you can delete that and in relative references we are going to select our range using offset method and i will explain that in later tutorials now the point is excel is going to select the cell using this format that means zero rows down and one column over 
okay now close this and take a look at how those macros works in our workbook okay just delete it and let's say if i click here cell c5 and if we run our macro absolute move right if i click run see we were at cell c5 but the result showed in cell b2 but in our code we wanted to move one cell right and then enter the value but in absolute references it didn't follow the journey it just maintained the cell number so no matter where i run the absolute references macro it's going to enter our value in cell b2 and let's delete it and let's go back to cell c5 again and now run the macro using relative references which is relative move right if i click run see we are in cell c5 but the result shows in cell d5 why because it interpreted our journey it understand we want to move one cell right and then enter the value so we are at cell c5 it just move one cell right and then enter the value it doesn't care which cell it is so this was the basic differences between relative and absolute references in macro recorder so you should understand this if you want to use macro recorder because these two ways interprets your task in two different ways okay these two procedure is very important but you have to understand them to know which one to use in your macro okay now this vba course is completely free so if you want to support the channel here is the link and don't forget to subscribe if you want to learn more about microsoft excel vba and daily excel problem solving videos the link is here check out the full vba course in this playlist and that's it for in this lesson see you in the next one thank you